Hey everyone, this is Deagle Beagle, and today we're going to go over how to beat Parish Trap. So, I'm going over this video because Wolfie used the Parish Trap team in Orlando, and I believe that's what he's known for. I think he used like a Parish Trap team or something like that, his very first event. I think when he beat Imperfect Spider, Mitchell, whatever his name was. Uh, but I, I helped that guy and he got second, I want to say, it was probably 2011 when Wolfie first competed. He had like Embor and a few other Pokemon, I can't remember, but but anyways, this is how to beat Parish Song. So, Parish Song counters, there's lots of them actually, now that I really thought about it. You, some of these are kind of obvious, but some of these are less obvious. Taunt, gold, good as gold ability from a gold bingo. Soundproof, a bomb of snow could use it, but it would probably want snow warning. So I don't know if I would even count that one. Volt switch slash U-turn slash flip turn or similar moves where they hit the opponent, and then they switch themselves out. And shed shell, that shed shell item is probably not worth it just for the random case of them having like shadow tag or something but I guess you could if you want to that's more of like a I want to say that's more of a singles item I forget why so I don't think arena trap or shadow tag was used that much oh I think it's mostly used with like like Scar Skarmory is that the Pokemon the flying steel one the one that sets up spikes and stuff to get out of magnet pole. Other than that, I don't think I remember seeing it. And then knock them out before they use Parish Song. Yep, you could do that. But that's easier said than done. There might be a bulky like a Scream Tail or, or a Fast Sash Fluttermane or something. And then knock them out fast enough with a hyper offensive team that they can't stall long enough to be worth using. Or yeah, like kill their shadow type Pokemon and then switch out. So a dark or bug or ghost Pokemon, but it's maybe Parish Trap is a little bit better now because you have really bulky Pokemon, Pokemon's like Screamtail, and you have a defensive Terra with Gothitelle possibly. So is Parish Trap better than it used to be? Probably from all the new changes and stuff. And there hasn't been many new additions. That would counter Parish Song, besides Good as Gold from Goldango. So there have been some more ghosts though. So actually, it's probably about even of how good it it is versus it, how it was. Okay. Now Ghost po Ghost Mons can switch out of Shadow Tag. Flying Pokemon and Ghost can switch out of Arena Trap. I believe that's since Gen Six. And then Parish Song counters continued. You can use Faint or Hyper Drill to go through Protect. There might be some other moves I'm, I'm not thinking of right now. Types are items that ignore Fake Out from Goth. So Goth likes to stall with Fake Out for the Parish Song turns. So Covert Cloak, Terra Ghost, Ghost Typing, Inner Focus, etc. Oh, also Terra Ghost helps you switch out of Parish Song. I should say that. Wait, did I say that already? I'll just put it there. Back to the slideshow. Okay. Encore so that they cannot protect again. I suppose, yeah, you could encore them. Like, encore their fake out. Or... I don't know, you would have to Encore, or they could just protect right after the fake out though, so Encore is probably not that great of a counter, unless you think they're gonna, for example, I don't know, Psychic and Encore, maybe with a slow Pokemon with Encore to Encore right after they they use their move mid-turn, or maybe it's possible to use Encore, uh, I'm just gonna put maybe because like I was saying, that doesn't necessarily counter because they might just keep protecting. But at least you can kind of mess with them a little bit. Torment, I don't think would really count um, because 
Well, maybe, but they could protect every other turn, I think. Oh, they couldn't use protect twice in a row, but I don't think that's that much of a counter. I'll just add it anyways. Just for the idea. Okay, Mons that die before the turns of Parish Song are over anyways. By the way, Torment is not typically a good move. Like, it would only be useful, I don't know, versus like Tinkaton and a few other things at the right time. Because that's one of the only moves that only works every other turn. But in general, it's not that much of an inconvenience for Pokemon to just switch moves every other turn or whatever. So, anyways, 13... Mons that die before the turns of Parish Song are over anyways. Yeah. So if you have a poke like a fragile Pokemon, like a glass cannon, and it's gonna die anyways because it's just like really fragile, maybe, then it won't matter that much. Even though just because they're fragile doesn't mean they have to take it out. But especially if it's an offensive Pokemon that has like no bulk and like all offense and really fragile. Then it won't matter that much anyways if they're using Pear Song, because instead of Pear Song, they could have just like killed it with a Psychic or something, maybe. Okay, I don't really know of many Pokemon like that, that are that fragile and good, but if they were like that, they probably had Sash anyways. Okay, Mons, or, so I don't know if that's really that much of a, a point, because they don't have to attack you moves that recoil but do a lot of damage and recoiling items like life orb so if you kill yourself from recoil then pair song won't think your mom so what i'm saying is is like if you just use hype it's kind of goes along with the hyper offense idea that if you use really offensive moves then it won't matter if they use pair song because you'll be able to kill them fast enough that's kind of the idea with like flare blitz too is that also, if you use so much offense that you even end up killing yourself to do a lot of damage before you go down, before the Parish Song kills you, then it may be worth it. Okay, and, and you can choose to die when you want to sometimes from the recoil and switch in the right Pokemon to counter them at the right time. Okay, Explosion, that would be a, uh, at the right time if they don't protect versus it, yeah. Explosion could be a good move because if you're gonna die anyways from the Parish Song, you could just use Explosion or, or what was it? Self Destruct, Self Destruct, or similar moves. I think Misty Blast, Misty Blast, or whatever it was, was like that. But that's I don't think that's even in the game anymore. Shadow Tag, you can switch out of there. Shadow Tag with your own goth. I remember that from the Wavafet mirror. I think it got so annoying that people complained about it and, and eventually they made it so that shadow tag mons can switch out of shadow tag mons so it's not like just a like a huge stall war or something between two Wavafets even though that's not legal on VGC. And then fake out or lucky flinches with rock slide to prevent a parish song that's an option but relying on a lucky flinch is probably not very reliable unless you use like double rock slide or para flinch i guess you could say um flinches are paralysis uh or uh lucky par paralysis that's how you saw okay i need to look at there uh and then imprison parish song I don't know if there's any Pokemon that even get it. Imprison Parasong? Oh! Fluttermane and Screamtail. By the way, I just use random aliases because my. Deagle Beagle name I think is banned on the VGC server. I never was told why. I think I know why, uh, but it's a long story. I'm I can't really fight it. Uh, I'm just using random aliases. Anyways, you could use 
like a booster energy timid flutter main try to hopefully outspeed theirs and imprison them and then they can't shadow ball you per song or whatever so you could use like flutter main maybe a no a scarf gengar wouldn't make sense with imprison so booster energy scream tail or flutter main maybe or you don't have to use booster energy i'm just gonna say flutter main or scream tail all right Roar your own mon out? Yeah, you could roar your own mon out. Or whirlwind or dragon tail, whatever. Uh, let me just add that. I guess you would have to know what those abbreviations are, but since you see them later, the full move name, then I think you should be able to figure it out. Okay, eject button or eject pack with hitting your own ally or using overheat or whatever if a jet pack oh shoot hopefully you guys could hear me because i had my mic like all the way up okay re red card if they hit you if it is the goth otherwise you help their ally get out of being parasong. song so hopefully if you have red card it's the goth that hits you but if they're smart and it's open team sheets then that won't probably work so actually that uh, i'm gonna say um, probably will not work in OTS and will actually help uh, them more than you. Okay, but it's an idea. Roar or Whirlwind or Shadow Tag. The Shadow Tag user out. I believe Whirlwind goes through Protect. Um, I don't think Roar does. Oh, it can? Crafty shield? That's weird. Oh, I, yeah, I th actually, I think I do remember it like that now. Roar works if they use protect, detect, or spiky shield, but not crafty shield. Okay, For, I think I, I swear I remember at first, though, it used to just be... Uh, just whirlwind I could be maybe I'm wrong but let me see really quick I swear okay gen 6 onwards when was roar again same time okay I don't know why I thought it was just whirlwind I think maybe because whirlwind might have been more common than roar and singles at one time when I used to play singles Anyways, there might be another move like Dragon Tail that I'm not thinking of. And, yeah, like Storm Throw, Circle Throw. Yeah, let me look this up. Isn't there Circle Throw? What does that do? Or that one? Switch out the target to the next Pokemon in line. Spide Ops, I think gets it. Circle Throw. Lucario and Spide Ops. Well, there are your options. Let me see what power it is. 60 power, so it's sort of like a Dragon Tail. I think Dragon Tail is less than that, isn't it? Dragon t No. Salamance. Okay, let's see. Dragon Tail. Oh, it is 60. I don't know what I was thinking then. Okay, Circle Throw. But no, like, Pokemon gets a good Circle Throw. Okay, Pursuit to nail them when they switch. They're going to have to switch out of their own they're going to have to switch out of their own pair song eventually. I'll look it up later when it loads. Okay. And then trap them when the, trap them in also with mean look block spider web fire spin sand tune whirlpool some binding move like that possibly. So at least they got to die along with you. <laughs> um, also you could use mental herb to counter them. If they use disable to disable your attacking moves to, to, kill them 
so that they can't just stall out a few turns and perish song kill you so oblivious doesn't seem to work against disable like that you would think it it would because it works against taunt and whatnot but you have to use like sleep talk metronome assist or mirror move something like that and mimic under very certain circumstances i believe mid turn can like i think negate at least for a turn i believe it can negate the effects of um of it okay i don't know you would have to read it on bulbapedia it's kind of complex and i didn't feel like reading all of it okay i just figure like moves like that are so un unusable generally in VGC that I didn't even really think that much about it. I just wrote it down in case you want to investigate it. Okay, Aroma Veil blocks it for allies. I forget who gets Aroma Veil. I think it's, is it Florges? Aroma Veil. Wait, what? The Oink, the Oinkster or Doc, Doc Spun. I forget what that means. That means, uh, I think that means badger bread, something, Doshbun in German. I don't know. But anyways, Aroma Veil, it's not that good. So let me just type it. So Doshbun and the oinky pig <laughs> okay throat chop roaring moon gets throat chop and that's usually counters that's usually used to counter sylveon and whatnot which it's four times week two but you could also use that with a few other pokemon but besides roaring moon i don't really see many other good pokemon that learn it that are use usable anymore like Ting Lu used to be good when it was allowed in Series 0. Okay, slow Pokemon. So hopefully you die after them and win if it is down to the last one or two on each side. Manually switch if not trapped yet. Spore put asleep their mons so that they cannot protect stall. Oh, and here's another good psychological tactic. You could rid ridicule players who use Paris Trap to discourage them from using it at an event law like make fun of wolfie or someone for using it so that they won't use it oh and here's the work cited page bulbapedia pokemon showdown and my memory i think that's mostly where i got all my information from so hopefully i get full credit for this class assignment just kidding Okay, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my next video.